In this video, I will share with you 15 signs that he will marry you. Hello, my name is Greta Berishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I will share with you the 15 signs that he will marry you, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. And ladies, uh, without further ado, I will start with the signs. However, you will probably get nowhere even if you pass the 13 signs but will fail on the last two. The sign number one is he never cancels the dates on you. Why is such an important sign? Because it shows that he really likes you and that he's really eager to see you and it also shows that he's putting you as a priority. Therefore, if something else comes across that may interrupt him seeing you, he will still figure out how to see you and keep you as a priority and will not cancel on you because of those interruptions. A guy never canceling on you is a huge, massive sign that he loves spending time with you and that he is taking you very seriously. Sign number two that the guy will potentially marry you is when he introduces you to his family and friends as his girlfriend. Not by your name, not this is my friend, not this is my whatever else, this is my girlfriend or this is my love or a lot of times if he really sees you seriously already, he might even introduce you as his wife or as his future wife, even if he has not proposed to you yet. Sign number three that he will marry you is he talks about a future with you a lot. He talks about the future plans with you maybe in a couple weeks time, then in a couple months time. And then later on, if he's truly falling for you, he will start to talk about the future plans with you in years and years to come. If he's doing that, there is a huge possibility that he's being honest with you and is seeing you potentially as his wife. Number four, when a guy sees future with you, he talks about having kids with you. He talks about the names for the kids, how the kids would look like, what school we would go to, and so on. He talks about having a family with you. Number five sign that he will potentially marry you is when he really pays attention to what you say. Whether you're talking about your past or you're talking about your family and friends or your future goals or you're just generally speaking. He seems most of the time really focused on you and paying attention to what you say. Why? Because he wants to figure you out and he is checking are you a wife material. Therefore, if he agrees with many things that you do say in his mind, he'll tick that yes box. Number six sign is he shows that he cares about you. If you're sick and you guys don't live together, he he might order some soup coming to your house or he might show up himself as a medicine or if you have some kind of emergency he'll be there the first one to help you out showing you that you can trust him and rely on him he will show you in many ways that he cares about you even if it's just giving you a call at 10 p.m asking where are you and are you home safe number seven he is protective of you so if a man sees you as his future wife, he will cherish you, he will adore you, and he's gonna be protective of you because he's not going to want another man to snatch you off him, right? So if he'll see that there are potentially high value man approaching you, he might come across a bit protective of you. He might start to check in with you more, calling you more, let's say in the evenings at 10 o'clock at night or 11, just to check in and see are you home safe. 
and ladies caring about a woman and being protective of her is very different from controlling her and here is the difference let's say the controlling part would be he is not allowing you to see your friends or family or have fun with them whereas the protecting and caring part would be calling you to see are you getting home safe after you finish spending time with your family or friends. Number eight sign that a guy will marry you is when you control your emotions, when you don't behave like a child. I remember I had a conversation with my mom recently. She said, Greta, you know, I cannot be myself like with your dad. I always have to control myself. And I said to my mom, well, mom, welcome to reality of happy relationships. Meaning that we must have self-control. We cannot just behave whichever way we think of and be inconsiderate to others. We must think before we speak. We must control our emotions. We must behave in the mature, secure confident way thinking not just about ourselves but about the other person too and ladies when you will be in charge of your emotions and you're not going to behave like a child throwing tantrums screaming yelling shouting trying to control or perhaps victimizing yourself he will start to see you as a secure, confident, high value woman. He will enjoy spending time with you and will want to have more of you. Number nine sign that a guy will marry you is when you bring out the best in each other, when you are inspiring him to be a better person. And ladies, we inspire men to be a better person when we are bettering ourselves. So whether we are focused on our goals and dreams, or whether we are doing some kind of charity and helping others, whether we are just not allowing a man to manipulate and set in boundaries when he does that then he will see these qualities in you. If he is a mature guy, he will see you as an inspiration and he will want to better himself. However, this does not apply to men that live in a chaos. And seeing the toxicity and chaos of something very, very attractive, therefore we are manipulating ladies, we take advantage of them, we lying to them, we're trying to date a few girls at the same time, we try to sleep around, we focus on the shallow things in life and we think that those shallow things will bring them happiness, whether it's girls, drugs, sleeping around, or whatever else. So if he's mesmerized by this type of mindset and he's literally living in a chaos, then bettering yourself will not impact this guy to be better also because simply not ready for it. He's enjoying his drama. He's enjoying his chaos. He has not matured for you yet. Number 10 sign that he might potentially marry you is when you let him be the man, when you let him feel like a man. Ladies, we enjoy dating men that makes us feel as women, right? I love dating guys that make me feel feminine, that bring out the femininity in me, that make me feel girly. Because I'm a woman and I like to feel like one. So the same goes with men. Men like it when we feel masculine, when we feel like men. In order to make a man to feel like a man, you need to understand the differences between men and women and treat him accordingly. If you will treat a man as your female best friend, long term your relationship will fail because you're not going to make this man feel good. You're not gonna make him feel masculine. You're gonna make him feel feminine instead. The same goes for us. For example, when men behave in a feminine way and make you feel masculine, by let's say putting the situations 
where you have to split the bill or pay for him or look after him or provide for him or chase and pursue him or perhaps even initiate intimacy. You know, if you're put in this type of position and you're actually behaving these ways, you as a woman, you'll start to feel masculine and you're not gonna enjoy the relationship. Therefore, it's so important for men not to treat women as their blokey friends and for women not to treat men as their female friends. As I always say, God did not design us all to be men or all to be women. God designed us to be completely different, nearly opposite of each other in order to complement one another, in order for two to become one. And if you would like to know the differences between men and women, I have an awesome playlist which I will drop in the video description box below or you can find it just by following the link right here. Number 11 sign that he will marry you is he is happy to hang out with your family. He likes your father, he likes your mother, he enjoys spending time with your brothers and your sisters. And if, let's say, him and your father or him or your mother don't get on well, because he potentially sees you as a future wife, he will try to please your father and your mother. He will try to be his best self with them and he will try to impress them. Number 12 sign, he invites you to all really important family gatherings. So whether his brother is getting married or whether he's invited to a huge family gathering, he will bring you along and will start to slowly make you feel as a part of the family. Number 13 is he is generous with you. He is happy to take that bill. He is happy to take you on that holiday. He's happy to get some furniture, some pictures for your flat. He is being generous with you and he is giving you freely. Maybe he's even paying your tuition fees for the college. When a guy sees you as a future wife and sees you as being his other half, he will feel more giving and he will feel more free to invest into you because by investing into you, actually investing in his life with you. Keep it in mind, ladies, that in the beginning, when you meet and you start to date somebody, if a guy is smart, he will invest a little bit in you as in he might be generous, he might treat you nice. As you keep dating and if you're being high value, your relationship will just start to grow. You guys will start to bond more, you guys will get to know each other more, you guys will fall in love more. Your relationship long term will become better and better. Therefore, you will see him gradually investing in you more and more and more. He will truly start to see a future with you. And here comes the two last ones. So even if you have all these 13 signs and you are in a happy relationship, this number 14 could ruin it all. And what is it? It is your religious views, right? I had quite a few clients. So let's say where the guy was Muslim and the girl was Christian. Let's say we got on really well, but we both were quite strong in their religious beliefs. And this is when it actually, a lot of times, it can not work unless one of them compromises. But this can get really, really complicated if your religious beliefs are strong. If on the other hand, you both don't have strong beliefs and you're kind of like on the shallow part, then this can potentially work without too many issues. But if you really do get on, but your religious beliefs are quite quite strong from this side and this side, it can literally break everything apart. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it can become very complicated. Therefore, if you would prefer things to flow 
easily without too many complications i would really recommend dating somebody from your own town and your own background and the number 15 where even if you have all of these things it may not work is if he does not have marriage views if let's say his parents experience some kind of tragic divorce and he's now got serious commitment issues or perhaps he does not believe in marriage perhaps his point of view is we'll stay together until we love each other and instead of proposing to you and offering you marriage he offers you to live together and enjoy the moment until the love lasts this can be again very different to somebody who let's say is coming from the background where the parents are still together and who sees marriage as until death does you apart not until you fall out of love but being there for each other for better or for worse until death does you apart so ladies if you liked this video please press like let me know in the comments below what you think join greta's high value women school where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men follow me on my instagram my instagram is called ladies relationship coach and for one-on-one -on -one group coaching or coaching with a member of my team book me through my website which is called gretaberishita.com and if you would like to get my high value women package slash course where we coach you everything on how to be a woman of high value, high value woman behaviors, patterns, how to be a challenge for a man, how to set in healthy boundaries with a guy, games men play on women, how to control your emotions. I have all of these videos in one package this for sale on my website gratabrishita.com i'll drop a link to it in my video description box below and as a pinned comment under this video thank you so much for watching my ladies kisses from dorset Mwah.